family welcome back to my channel so today I have a beautiful mirror piece for you guys that you can use to decorate anywhere inside of your home you can even use it to decorate your vanity it'll make it look extra glam it's easy to do inexpensive and it looks like it costs more than it actually is to me so I hope you guys enjoy the video if you do please make sure you give it a thumbs up let's see if we can get this video to a thousand likes also make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and click that bell button so you'll be notified every single time that I upload with that being said, let's begin the video. Okay, so I've made these mirror stands before in another tutorial. Basically, you get these wall art boxes from Dollar Tree. They carry them in three different sizes, a tall, wide, and small box. I'm using the wide and small boxes. Doesn't matter if you use a tall or wide box, you just want to make sure you got a small box with each stand. So use a heavy duty glue to glue the bigger box on top of the longer side of the smaller box. I then spray paint the boxes silver. I don't want to keep it with whatever's on the boxes because it just doesn't look right. Dollar Tree carries all sorts of frame mirrors. You'll need at least six for this, nine if you want to make the back mirror taller. What you're going to do is you're going to take the mirror out of the frame, then glue one of the mirrors to the back of the wider box. For the mirror on the smaller box, I'm using the square candle mirrors from Dollar Tree. I removed the foam legs on the bottom of the mirrors before gluing the mirrors to the smaller box. That's how you make the stand piece. Now moving on to the back piece. You're going to use a piece of foam board from Dollar Tree and you're going to cut it down to fit at least six mirrors. You want to choose if you want the mirrors to be horizontal or vertical. Now to glue the mirrors, I'm using a hot glue gun and that's just for video purposes. You really do want to use a glue that is a heavy duty glue. I'm just using a hot glue gun because it dries quickly. And what you're going to do is you're going to glue your pieces of mirrors. Now I didn't glue on all six. I only glued five and then I'm going to be having the stand in front of the foam board. I do not make this an entire piece by gluing that stand to the foam board because I don't believe that the foam board will be able to hold the weight of that stand. So it's better to make this something that you assemble. So you have your back mirror and then your stand and then if you want two little mirrors on the side you just place them onto the side assemble it rather than glue it all together unless you're using something that's more heavy now for the mirrors on the sides of the stands I just place two squared candle mirrors to each side of the mirror stand I don't glue them on like I said I just don't trust the Dollar Tree foam board to hold the weight of all of these items I don't believe that the mirrors on the foam board will fall off it's just that if you put the stand and the mirrors on the bottom that will start to rip it down the weight that is below it when you pick it up that's what i'm talking about now place this bad boy wherever you like and you're good to decorate if you're wondering about that mirror box i have a tutorial for it but basically you take four of those square mirrors glue them together or five if you want something at the bottom and then um yeah you have a mirrored box and that's what i ended up putting on top of the stand well that's it for this tutorial i hope you all enjoyed if you did please give the video a thumbs up and i will see you all next time take care bye